Grifters, Cymatic Bruce here with a new video for the new year, uh, top 20 VR experiences of 2013. Uh, two years ago, who would have imagined that we'd have a top 20 VR anything happening? Uh, just the state of events and things that have uh, progressed so far is really very amazing, very exciting time for technology. Uh, so what you're going to see in this video are top 20 picks from 20 to 11 are my personal picks that do not coincide with the popular top 10. Uh, there was so much crossover between my personal top 10 and the popular top 10 that was voted on uh, that I decided to just kind of take the latter half. And uh, in the top 10 you're going to see is straight from the survey, straight from the votes that came in. So thank you everyone that participated there. Uh, the demos and games that you'll see a part of this list are all publicly available. Links will be put down below. Uh, some great experiences that are not publicly available yet, like Spectre or EVR, are not on this list. Um, but uh, once they're available, hey, uh, they'll get their chance. So awesome. All right. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive right into this journey. Top VR experiences of 2013. All right, we start off with Strike Suit Zero, uh, the best space shooting experience that is publicly available at the moment. Uh, the gameplay is spectacular. Unfortunately, there are some issues with the HUD and the menus. Hopefully that will be addressed sometime soon, but wow, what great shooting gameplays. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Hydra Cover Shooter at number 19. Uh, what a brilliant concept, brilliant use of the Hydra, using one of the Hydras for positional tracking, the other to control a gun. You're physically dodging and ducking. Uh, it makes a standard shooting gallery into a fight for your life. Rift Coaster. What can I say? It's one of the most popular VR demos out there. It's classic uh, and now is part of VR and Oculus Rift history. So uh, congratulations, Boone. Uh, I'm sure all of us have initiated uh, some of our family members using this demo. Fantastic experience. Next up, number 17 is Spacewalk. Uh, this is just one of those awe-inspiring demos. When you get that first view of the Earth as you tilt your space suit uh, over, it just takes your breath away. It's really fantastic. Uh, it even has multiplayer, which is really cool. Next up is kind of an odd one. Number 16, you have Jamulus. A super simple experience, uh, but I just can't stop playing it. Uh, you're going at a very high speed. You're using look in conjunction with the controller. It's kind of representative of the spirit of experimentation uh, with VR and the Rift applications that have come out. Next up is number 15, Gorgon, one of my favorite concepts and a whole lot of fun. It is a multiplayer only experience where one player is Medusa uh, and the other four are soldiers that have shields that function as mirrors. Ah, so cool. Such a fun experience. Number 14, Crashland. Uh, absolutely thrilling adventure it makes great use of the hydras uh, and a very interesting gameplay mechanic where the radar is actually on your gun so you can see it in real time uh, really really a, a thrilling experience number 13 is cs winner of the 2013 game jam and a very, very dangerously addictive title. Uh, it has an abstract gameplay situation going on, uh, so it avoids simulator sickness in that way, uh, and just kind of takes you inside of the machine. Uh, it's really sweet. Number 12, Heli Hell. One of the first demos to use Hydra positional tracking, and it is just wonderful. That first time when you peek out of your helicopter and lean over the side and land it is just it's hard to describe and finally coming in at number 11 is euro truck simulator 2. Uh, vr has a way of making the mundane interesting and there's no better example of that than this game i have never in my life been so excited to park <laughs> it's really wild how you can drive and look at the same time it's such a novel experience and i definitely recommend it all right, so that wraps up kind of my top picks uh, that do not coincide with the popular choices of the top 10. Uh, so now let's head right into the top 10 and see what everyone's favorite experiences were. Here we go. 
So at number 10 is Asunder Earthbound. Uh, amazing experience. Personally, my number 7, actually. Uh, I consider this game the evolution of the point and click adventure. Uh, it has a great combination of graphics, sound, and gesture interaction, and scripted events as well that just immerse the user in a very different and direct way. Um, can't wait to see where this goes in the future. At number nine, we have Dread Halls, uh, my personal number two. Uh, this game taps into almost every type of fear. Uh, it isolates you just by virtue of being in the rift and having earphones. Uh, you have advancing darkness where your light is constantly running out. You're hearing things in the unknown. Um, things move when you aren't looking. Uh, you don't have weapons. You're helpless. Uh, it is just hard to play alone and brilliantly executed. At number 8 is Rift Max Theater. Now, although it's still in its early stages of development, um, at its core, it's an incredible social experience. Uh, I would definitely love to see more of the 4D effects within the theater. I think that's really neat. Uh, the little extras like the lightsabers and snacks add to the entertainment value. Uh, and just having like custom video marathons and having a VR telepresence of sorts is really cool. Definitely looking forward to see how uh, this particular app develops. At number seven, the Gallery 6 Elements. Uh, now pretty much have only been a couple of alpha demos released for this and it's already one of the most compelling experiences in VR that's out there. Um, definitely in my personal top 10. It takes into careful consideration of VR experience right down to the beginning zooming through the logos uh, and has some of the best Hydra integration I've ever seen in a title. Uh, just executed brilliantly. Can't wait to see what this full game is going to turn into. It's really quite amazing. Uh, number six is Time Rifters. My personal number five, and one of the cleanest first-person shooter experiences that's available in VR. Every design decision in this game is clearly made with VR in mind, and the payoff is tremendous. The HUD is perfect. Uh, jumping and super jumping feel awesome. Uh, the menu interfaces based on look are executed brilliantly. And aside from the VR, it's just a brilliant gameplay concept on its own. Uh, great, great stuff. Number five is Minecraft, my personal number three. Uh, Minecraft is fantastic because of the sense of scale that it brings to the Minecraft experience. I mean, the cube actually looks and feels like a cubic meter and the weather effects the rain and snow are brilliant uh, where this really shines though is a multiplayer experience 3d positional audio uh and seeing where other people are looking it's just like so crazy how you transfer natural behaviors there number four titans of space uh also my personal number four and this title really illustrates what vr can do for education it's an amusement park ride a science lesson, and a mind-blowing experience all wrapped up into one delicious present. And it's fantastic. Uh, this title really leverages the sense of scale that VR provides to hammer home the enormity of the solar system and beyond. It's great stuff. Number three is the official Valve support for Half-Life 2. Um, it was big news when Valve announced support for Half-Life 2 and TF2 for VR. Um, and giving the pacing and storytelling of Half-Life 2 seems like a no-brainer. Yes, it should work great. Um, Valve was very careful in the configuration settings and uh, diversity of control schemes. Uh, this particular title didn't work for me very well, but um, a lot of people definitely enjoyed it. Which brings us to number two, Half-Life 2, the VR mod. Um, this kind of builds on that uh, kind of core experience that Valve put out there and adds a lot of things that really just push it to the next level. One-to-one uh, -one weapon control using the Hydra, body positional tracking, adjustments to the player's height and walk speed, fading out the transitions between stages, um, really smart stuff to do. Playing catch with dog was one of the most awesome experiences I've had in VR so far. And finally, everybody's number one the popular choice for number one and also my personal choice for number one lunar flight now why is lunar flight brilliant uh there's many reasons uh first there's a deep and diverse and challenging gameplay that's going on here uh it is a challenging game it's uh, definitely easy to pick up hard to master to get that lunar lander working and 
moving exactly like you want it. Um, and uh, that challenge is certainly addictive. Um, you have a virtual body in the cockpit uh, that has that frame of reference. That virtual body is in the same position that you would be and also holding an Xbox controller, uh, which is so cool. Uh, so that definitely adds to the immersion there. Uh, the cockpit itself, it's so detailed and interactive. Almost every direction you look has something that you can interact with or is telling you some information that's important to what you're doing. Uh, so you look to your left, right, up or down, uh, you can change those monitors to display different things and it just really feels like you are in charge of this um, this piece of equipment. Um, on top of that, you have this really great aesthetic with the graphics and all this really wonderful sound that really effectively places you there. It puts you in the lander, on the moon, uh, and it takes you to another place. Um, all around, it's just the complete package as far as a VR experience, something designed for the Rift. Um, it really delivers very, very well. It looks great. Uh, it plays great, and uh, you'll want to keep coming back for more uh, until you get your lander exactly how you want it. Um, so that concludes the top 20 list of VR experiences. All right, Rifters, that about wraps it up. Top 20 VR experiences for 2013. Uh, there's so many to choose from, so hard to narrow it down. Great experiences out there that are not on this list, uh, but... There we have it. Uh, please, if you liked this video and want more content like it, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, also, check out cymaticbruce.com. Uh, you can sign up for my mailing list there, which is cool. We'll have some VR news articles I'll be putting out um, and opportunities for VR developers I'll be putting through that mailing list. So definitely sign up. And... Uh, yeah, stay tuned, man. I'm going to be heading to CES in a couple days, and I'll be back with some footage from the show. Uh, so we're expecting a lot of exciting announcements from CES to start off 2014 uh, with a VR extravaganza. Uh, so definitely looking forward to that. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support, your comments, uh, and until the next VR experiment.